Hello and welcome to this news pod of In the Hyperloop. Today we're talking about Hyperloop companies and then we're talking about the university teams. So let's get started. The first one is Elon Musk and the Boring Company has been delayed. They were going to have a grand opening on the 10th today, but it's been kicked back to the 18th. But also they're going to be revealing more about their autonomous transport cars and grounded tunnel elevators. I think they just need a little bit more time and the Boring Company also tweeted uh, that they're still finishing the snail habitat. So looking forward to that and we'll be in LA. So if you want to meet up or participate in a live stream um, on the 18th, we would be happy to do that. So next is TransPod. They announced a major um, milestone. They have finally have a construction permit to build their test track. And here we see a small screenshot of the official documentation from the local government. Um, so congratulations, it's a huge milestone. Now they can really start uh, digging in the earth. Next is Zelleros. They are all over the United States and in Japan. And I just wanted to give a brief shout out on you know them promoting Hyperloop technology in all the various settings that they are. And I'd highly recommend you follow their Instagram account. Um, next is oh, another article about TransPod. This one really goes in depth about you know what's going on um, in southern France and where exactly the location of the Hyperloop track will be and when it's scheduled to begin building um, in May. So I'd highly recommend you check out that news article and the link that will be in the description. Next is HTT. They've been promoting um, their new partnership with the port of Hamburg, Germany. And we see that um, not a lot of details on this, but they do have a port partnership and Hamburg being a major port of Europe is quite newsworthy. So we're looking forward to hearing more about um, them moving cargo containers more inland for them logistics to happen inland, not near the ocean. Um, and this is a good article from the Times of London. It's kind of behind a paywall, but it gives a nice little uh, summary of what exactly is going on and uh, what it might look like. So I highly recommend you check that out. Next, um, today is the new, uh, or is the starting day for the uh, TU Delft Hyperloop online course. We're gonna be taking it um, and it's free, but you can pay a little tiny fee for getting a verified certificate. So give them a lot of support. I think they worked really hard um, in producing this online course and it's the first online course in, uh, about Hyperloop I've ever seen. So congratulations to Delft Hyperloop and TU Delft. Um, speaking of Delft Hyperloop, they're working really hard on building out more of a flushed uh, concept for their Hyperloop technology for the SpaceX pod competition. They're really the only ones that I've seen that are pushing um, the boundaries on you know, what their designs look like in, in terms of actual practicality in the real world. Um, perhaps a lot of this um, work is from their online course and how they had to flesh out their ideas more fully, but I give them mad props for um, at least be more vocal about, you know, while this isn't the main goal of the SpaceX pod competition, they are thinking into the future. So good job. Uh, next is EPFL Hyperloop uh, from Luzern, Switzerland. Uh, they've participated in previous Hyperloop pod competitions and have done a really good job of documenting their work. Um, they are uh, going to be on vice, or sorry, motherboard um, on a really small feature about future transportation. So good job. Uh, getting um, the word out through a new medium on uh, motherboard. Next is a, another Hyperloop SpaceX pod competition team. Um, this Sweden's first Hyperloop team, I just wanted to give them a, a brief shout out because they're working really hard and um, just wanted to give them some, uh, some props <laughs> because there's a lot of Hyperloop pod teams out there. Um, next one is Hyperloop UPV. Um, and I thought this uh, post of theirs was pretty interesting. Did you know that their prototype um, would, you know, power a refrigerator for more than a whole day? So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then Cal Poly Hyperloop um, is also posting a lot of interesting stuff. And um, they posted that they've submitted their uh, final design report. So good job. Congratulations and um, looking forward to all your, your hard work in LA, perhaps. Finally, I just want to give a shout out to the Loop Guys. They're a new group um, that is working to promote Hyperloop 
and they posted a really interesting um, blog post on what they think Hyperloop will mean um, when it's built out and I just highly recommend you check it out it's really in-depth um, I haven't had the option or the opportunity to um, read it yet but give them a good follow and a shout out because they're going to be uh, doing a lot more in the future so that's it for this news pod and uh, stay in touch we'll be in LA on the 18th so give us a shout out if you want to meet up and uh, stay in the loop